so I'm using leave-in decadence conditioner. Um, just a little bit enough for that slip because the front tends to be more dry because that's where the water rinses first. When you rinse it out, everything else is underneath. I just take and glide out and away from her scalp um, with the conditioner to put some added moisture in to help with frizz. So I did a little bit of leave-in conditioner for her back because this is where it rubs on her collar and tends to dry it a little bit more just for some added moisture for the back of her hair. And then I'm going to rake my fingers through to detangle before I apply product. For Danielle, um, because her hair is so fine, we use less product. So I'm going to do three pumps of frizz-free volumizing foam. Glide the product on again mid-shaft to ends. The hair is more porous mid-shaft to ends because it's been through life. And then I'm going to prayer hand it in. work it up to the root. You don't ever want to put product right at your root. It will wear your hair down and we're looking for volume. A lot of people hear volumizing and they'll take it and they'll just put it right on their root. This product is Wave Maker. I'm going to do about a dime size. Again, all over my hands. Glide it. mid check to ends. Prayer hand it in and then work up toward the root. And then last product is Believe In, Curl Booster Plumper and Volumizer. Oops, lost some of it. Light it on. Scrunch it in. And then work it up. I'm going to comb out and away from her scalp to really break apart her curls. So we're going for scalp coverage. So whenever the curls are not clumped together, it gives the appearance of more fullness and volume. Here we want to keep as much moisture as possible. So instead of scrunching with the towel, she's going to shake her hair back and forth. For Danielle, I used Wave Maker to scrunch with for more volume and moisture. Uh, again, for Danielle, I'm gonna do circular motions to uplift her root out and away. 